If you want waterfront living with some of the best views in the entire Bay Area and a great historic downtown shopping and restaurant scene, then Sausalito in Marin County is a great option for you. And in this video, I'm gonna do a deep dive into the city of Sausalito, including what day-to-day -day life is like and how much it costs to live there. What's up everyone? This is Austin Clark, your lawyer turned real estate agent and real estate developer in San Francisco and Marin County. I've lived in the Bay Area for over a decade, giving me in-depth, first-hand knowledge of what it's like to live and work there. If you're thinking about relocating to San Francisco or Marin County or want more information about the Bay Area real estate market, definitely reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. I will personally answer every call, every email, every text, and I'd be more than happy to help you. And if you like videos just like this, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell so you're alerted every single time I post a video. All right, so this video is all about the city of Sausalito. It is the first city that you get to in Marin County when you cross the Golden Gate Bridge, which makes it really great for commuting purposes or if you ever just want to go to San Francisco for a night out. Sausalito is built along a beautiful shoreline of the San Francisco Bay. It faces Belvedere, Angel Island, and San Francisco. And being close to the waterfront means very moderate temperatures all year round. Of all cities in Marin, Sausalito weather probably resembles San Francisco weather the most. Sausalito is not shielded by the you know rolling hillsides and mountaintops that shield the rest of Marin County. So the fog banks that you get in San Francisco, you get some of that in Sausalito as well. The weather in Sausalito, I would say, is a little bit better than San Francisco, but it more closely resembles San Francisco than other parts of Marin. Sausalito was settled alongside San Francisco in the 18th century, and for a long time, it wasn't much to write home about, but during World War II, it became a prime spot for shipbuilding and sending fleets to the Pacific Theater. After the war, it became a popular spot for houseboat communities along the shoreline, and the hills above it became, you know, pretty prime affluent real estate with incredible views. That dichotomy of houseboat life and the ultra luxe Sausalito Marin County lifestyle still exists today. Sausalito itself isn't a huge town. A little over 7,000 people live there. It's a little bit over two miles long, but even though it's not a huge town, it's actually one of the more lively parts of Marin County, and that's in large part because of the historic downtown area. The historic downtown is a major attraction for residents and tourists. It gets super touristy there, especially on weekends. There are a ton of restaurants and shops aligning the sidewalks that are right next to the water, which make it a great spot for enjoying really great weather and incredible views. Aside from downtown, there are a lot of other shops and restaurants aligning Bridgeway, which is the main road going through Sausalito. Um, my favorite ceramic store is Heath Ceramics. It's in Sausalito. Uh, one of my favorite restaurants, The Joinery, is off Bridgeway. The Beer Hall serves the best fried chicken sandwiches I've had in all of Marin, and there's a great packed patio overlooking the bay. Bar Bocce is another popular spot. Great food, and they have bocce ball courts right on the water outside. Um, there are also some really high-end restaurants there as well if you're looking for you know a more special you know kind of exclusive occasion. Sausalito is also really popular for outdoor activities because it's right on the water. It's super popular for kayaking, paddle boarding, boating, um, a ton of places there to you know get bikes and ride through the main parts of town. There are some pretty steep hills, especially getting toward the Golden Gate Bridge. But if you want exercise, you know definitely a great biking area. Um, there are also a number of parks in the area, places you can picnic. Your the water, play volleyball and sand, or just walk around the flat main road. There are also a lot of cultural events in the area. Sausalito sponsors free music festivals every Friday in Gabrielson Park. There's also a 4th of July parade, art festivals, film festivals, and you can even take a tour of a lot of the iconic floating houseboats in the community. Sausalito is a great neighborhood for schools. There are multiple nationally recognized and ranked schools of all levels. While there are a lot of great things about living in Sausalito, there are some not so great things as well. First up is definitely it gets super touristy, especially on weekends, as I mentioned. Up in the hills where it's mainly residential, you know, not so much, but on the weekends, the downtown area gets packed with tourists, and with that comes a lot of car traffic. So, you know, if you're trying to get anywhere, it can be a bit of a pain. Um, another downside of Sausalito is that homes are built into hillsides like most of Marin, and the roads can get pretty narrow, especially as you get higher up into the hills. So it makes driving to and from your house, you know, a little bit of a task if you're on one of those roads, but you know, it's sort of a fact of life living in Marin that this is, you know, a possibility. Not every road is like that, but many of them are. So just something to be on the lookout for when you're looking at homes in the area. Another thing people sometimes complain about is the need to commute to San Francisco or the South Bay for work. Luckily, living in Sausalito, you are right next to the Golden Gate Bridge, so it is super easy to commute to San Francisco. Even though it's very easy, 
Um, it does come at a price you do have to pay a bridge toll and then you are gonna have to pay for parking when you get to downtown. But if you don't wanna drive, there is a ferry terminal in Sausalito, which makes it really easy to get to the city over the bay. And, you know, there is still a ferry toll, but it's cheaper than the bridge toll plus parking. So, you know, either way, you're gonna to have to pay to get to work if you don't work in Sausalito or you don't work remotely. But there are ways to get to work that aren't prohibitively expensive. How much does it cost to live in Sausalito? Since January of 2022 to the beginning of May 2023 when I'm filming this video, but 91 single family homes have sold for just under $3 million in only 20 days on market on average. And that's compared to about 2.24 million for all of Marin and about 24 days on market for all of Marin. So you can see how much more expensive things are in Sausalito. And even though they're that much more expensive, they sell on average in less time than the average home in all of Marin. So there you have it. That's the scoop on Sausalito. There are so many other great and some not so great things about living in Sausalito. If you're interested in learning more, you want information about the Sausalito real estate market, definitely reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. I will personally answer every call, every email, every text, and I'd be more than happy to help you. And if you like videos just like this, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell so you're alerted every single time I post a video.